here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much. You are genuinely appreciated. And if you are checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, Cappies, this is a general energy check-in. It's not going to resonate with all of you as there are a lot of you in the collective. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If it's not your reading, that's okay. It's just not your reading today. Click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have something for you um, at some point in time in the future. Or feel free to book me for a personal reading. All that information is in my description box. Okay, so... The overall energy of this reading, we have fifth chakra. As you can see, cards have already been shuffled and drawn. And I'm just going to get to the point today because that's just how I do. Hmm. So you have fifth chakra. And this is speaking about someone wants to speak their truth to you, Capricorn. Or you could want to speak your truth to someone. Uh, but I feel like someone wants to, hmm. look at this, you have six of coins, and then you have king of coins, this is you, you have justice in reverse, and you have three of coins, this is all coins here, right, this is all coins, mm -hmm. this is you, Cappy, this is you, <laughs> hmm. Someone wants to manifest something with you. I feel like someone wants to manifest a relationship with you again, Capricorn. And they're going to come towards you and tell you this. Someone wants to speak their truth. Uh-huh. I feel like this person may not have been uh, truthful. I just I was just going to say faithful. This person may not have been faithful to you either uh, in the past. Uh, so it looks like this person wants to... They want to exercise equal reciprocity with you now. Because in the past, they didn't come with that. Mm -hmm. In the past, it was, <sighs> this person was very imbalanced, right? Now, you could have a child or children with this person, but they weren't really focused on the relationship the way how they may have told you that they were. Yeah, emotionally, mentally, they weren't in it. As for some of you, they could have been, uh, I'm hearing, wandering, uh, wanderlust. Mm -hmm. Someone wasn't as serious as they said they were. Uh, they put on a show, Yeah. This person also wasn't balanced. So the relationship wasn't balanced because this person was not balanced. And they brought imbalance into the relationship. Someone's masculine and feminine energies are not balanced. I feel like there was a, a dynamic where someone could have been too aggressive. Someone is, was very aggressive. And now my, uh, my throat chakra is, uh, my throat feels like it's burning, right? So this person... Maybe the things that they said would burn you, right? Or they would say things that were very hurtful. Mm -hmm. Or they would not say what they really wanted to say. Because I feel like someone was holding back and lying to you, Capricorn. Because they wanted you to stay. But the thing is, this was selfish. Because this person wanted you to stay for their own, their own benefit, their own gain, their own comfort, I'm hearing. Mm-hmm. This person also wanted you to stay because you were, you're proper. <laughs> Capricorn, you have proper things. Like, you make sure shit's running smoothly. You take care of the family. You take care of the responsibilities. You make sure bills are paid. You make sure everything's running. Uh, money is coming in. You know what I'm saying? And it's going where it needs to go. Responsibilities are taken care of. Mm-hmm. This person also likes sleeping with you, Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Or you like sleeping with this person, put the energies where it goes. Mm -hmm. For some of you, you could have been dealing with a business owner, or you're the business owner, or someone's an entrepreneur, or someone has a high position. Mm -hmm. They hold a, um, I'm hearing a role of authority. Mm -hmm. But whoever, someone in this dynamic had really good business acumen. They were a good uh, businessman, businesswoman. Mm -hmm. They run shit. And they're good at it. But somebody was not focused in the relationship. Not at all. They did not have their head in the game. Mm -mm. Someone had their head in the clouds, as a matter of fact. Yeah. And now this person wants to come towards you, Capricorn, and restore balance. Mm -hmm. 
You could have been dealing with a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Mm hmm. But this person, they know that they were on their worst behavior. Someone, this person you were dealing with, uh, Capricorn, they know why you ended the relationship with them. Mm hmm. Yeah. Because they were doing nothing. Yeah, they were. You could have been breadcrumbed like. Pfft, breadcrumbed mm -hmm. not doing much or not doing anything at all the thing is this person came in like they were ready for what you wanted for some of you were dealing with a, it was a dynamic where you were a single parent and this person uh, came in like they were ready for a, a relationship uh, of that dynamic right so they were ready to be a, a parent or a role model to your children but really they weren't for some of you you were with somebody who really didn't they didn't really focus on your kids or focus on, they didn't focus on the relationship. No, this was not someone who was trying to be a good example to um, younger ones that were looking up to them. They didn't give a fuck. No, this person was out for their own best interests. Someone was in a situation with someone where they didn't, um, this person, they didn't interact with your kids. Nope. And that's because they didn't care. Nope. And they just wanted you around to make them comfortable. Mm-hmm. And that's why you deaded this. Yeah, you let this motherfucker go. Yeah, they had to go. For some of you... Okay, so I'm hearing... Uh, I just heard a feminine voice say, I couldn't have my children seeing that. So, for some of you who are in a situation with someone who did not deal with you good... And you did not want your children to see that example of what a relationship should look like. For some of you, this is a situation where you're with uh, a man. And the man could have been very disrespectful to you or very rude to you in front of your children. And you have f female children, right? You have girl children and you didn't want your girl children to think that that kind of treatment was okay. You didn't want your boy children to think that that kind of treatment was okay. It's okay to treat uh, females like that. Mm -hmm. So you had to let this person go because they were not a good example. They weren't um, showing how... They weren't showing what a true relationship should look like. Mm -hmm. They were showing what a relationship shouldn't look like. So you let this person go. And also, this they didn't come to build... They may have told you that, Capricorn, but they didn't come to build. And I am speaking to a small number of masculine Capricorns in this collective. I know you may be upset with me, but this is all out of love, right? It's all out of it, it, being enlightened. So now you know. Mm -hmm. Knowing is half the battle. Now it's what are you going to do with the information? Are you going to do something different? Or are you going to come with the same foolishness? Because some masculines in this collective, you were with someone. You could have been with a single mother and you weren't showing up properly because you didn't really take the relationship seriously. And you were being a very bad example to their, to their children. So that's one of the reasons why they let your ass go. This person just wanted you to come correct and you were on some foolishness. Now, for my Capricorns where this is not... You're the, the one on the receiving end. You let this person go because they were just on some foolish... When I say this person breadcrumbed you, this is someone who would take your last mm -hmm, or make you feel bad if you didn't give them your last, even though you have children. Mm -hmm. Now, for some of you, this person could have had children in a previous relationship before you, and they didn't really do much for their other kids either. Mm -hmm. That's just how they were. I feel like for some of you, you started to just really see this. You started to see it for what it was. See this person for who they really were. And that's why you left them. I also feel this energy of someone who just realizes, I don't fucking need you around. I do not need you. So you can go. Mm -hmm. And it's true, Capricorn. You don't need this person. They needed you. Someone was taking your love for granted, yes? And someone took advantage of you, Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Now put the energies where it goes because I am picking up a masculine Capricorn energy who did this to a water sign. So 
You have the information what you're going to do with it. But Capricorn, some of you were dealing with a water sign who just, they dropped the ball, man. If the thing is, they never had the ball in their hand to begin with. They just made it look like they did. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm seeing in my third eye? I'm seeing someone who's coming towards someone with their hands behind their back. Like, I'm carrying something. I have something for you. And then when it shows it to them, it's like, ta-da, there's nothing there. Right? It's like you realize that this person ain't shit. And they're full of shit. Mm-hmm. This person didn't have no keys to no success or nothing. They were on some bullshit. This person could have been bad with money. Mm -hmm. They weren't organized. They weren't stable. They weren't secure. Uh, I am picking up this energy of someone who's, um, they're not stable or secure within themselves. Mm -hmm. Emotionally unstable, I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling this kind of restless, anxious energy. Mm -hmm. Someone, you could have been with someone who, um, Capricorn, some of you are dealing with someone who they just, they have to be doing something all the time or they don't feel, but the th they don't feel comfortable. Like, it's not someone who could just uh, relax, you know, and just chill and hold a vibe, right? This is someone who has to be doing something, all the, the restless energy, uh, their, their, um, their leg could jiggle or shake or um, they always have to be in, just engaging in some kind of activity, but they were doing a whole bunch of nothing. Mm hmm. Yeah. It was just to make it look like they were doing something or making some kind of moves because this person wasn't getting anywhere. They weren't building anything, doing a whole bunch of nothing mm -hmm. and bringing you a whole bunch of nothing. So you let the ass go because like I said, Capricorn, you don't need this person. You're good all by yourself. Mm hmm. So. This person wants to come towards you, Capricorn, and they want to speak their truth. They want to tell you that they want to do an equal give and take with you now. They want to bring stability and security into the relationship because they know that they were unfair to you. For some of you, this person abused their power with you. Mm -hmm. They know that they were fake with you. Yes. For some of you, this person would lie on you or lie about you. Like if you guys got into an argument or something, they go and tell their friends and chat all this shit about you to their friends or to their family to make it look like you're a certain way, but you're not. You're not. And you know what I love about this? Um, Your energy, Capricorn, you're very secure in yourself, right? So it doesn't matter what this person says or what they didn't say about you. You're good with you. You know who you are. Some of you, my masculine Capricorns, you're dealing with um, a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, who is very, very secure in who they are. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter what you go and tell people about them. It's not going to phase them one way or the other because they know what's up with themselves. Capricorn, someone wants to come to you and tell you that they made a mistake mm -hmm, and that they were being untrue to you. Someone wants to balance the skills, yeah, because they know they were unfair to you. They know that they didn't make a, a solid decision on you. Someone had you sitting in limbo because they couldn't decide if they really wanted to be with you or not. Now, there is a situation in this collective where someone moved in with someone's family. Like they want to be the breadwinner and the provider. This could be a feminine energy too, right? Moved in with a single father. Yes. But put the energy where it goes. But someone moved in with someone's family. Like they were ready for that kind of life. They're about that kind of life. And they really fucking weren't. They were still on some wanderlust. Uh-huh. I want to fucking do whatever I want. I want to act like I'm single but look like I have a family because it's a good look. Mm-hmm. Yes. And Capricorns, you just deaded that because you don't have time for foolishness like that. You an adult. Yes. This person, for some of you, they couldn't make a decision on you because they were out with somebody else and they were deceiving you. They were lying to you, making it seem like they wanted something or they were loyal and they were not loyal to you they were deceiving you someone was lying to you about a third party yes someone had somebody on the side yes they had a snack on the side a side thing yes they did mm -hmm. you know what i'm picking up capricorns some of you may have been with somebody who they could have been a, a business owner or had a high position somebody has some kind of um they do something in, in finance. They do something in... Uh, someone could have been a stockbroker or they do something with stocks. Yeah. 
or they're a financial advisor, or they're some kind of salesperson. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, this person should have been bringing home a lot of bacon, but they weren't. They seem to be always fucking broke. Uh huh. And that's because they were spending money on foolishness and on people, other people. Some of you are with someone who is using their money to wine and dine other people, entertain other people. And they would come to you with their broke pocket. Yes. Come to you with their two empty freaking hands and their lint in their pocket like, oh, I don't have anything. Can you help me with this? You know, can you help me with this bill? And <laughs> Wow. Some of you were dead ass dealing with a Scorpio. I was just going to say Scorpio. Capricorn. Capricorn, you started to see that this person was, they ain't shit. Mm -hmm. And they're more of a burden, right, than an asset in your life. And you do not need that. So you cut them loose. Yes. Some of you would, uh, this person would come and try to borrow money from you and stuff and tell you all type of story. And you'd be like, didn't you just get paid? You know what? Some of you uh, Capricorns in this collective, you were with someone who made more money than you. But you would have never known. You would have never fucking known because they always seem to be broke. And this person was very stingy with you as well. Very fucking stingy. Because you're very stable. Also, I'm... <laughs> Capricorn, some of you are dealing with someone who lied to you at the fact that they were broke. They made it seem like they had money, but they had nothing. Absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. They didn't have a pot to piss in. Mm -hmm. And they lied to you about it. But also, you know what, Cappies? This person, they have very low self-esteem. And they were hiding that from you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They were hiding the fact that they are not confident in themselves. They were hiding the fact that they were fucking broke as fuck. Yep. For some of you, for a minute there, they were hiding the fact that they're not a very nice person. Mm -hmm. Some of you could have been dealing with a friggin' sociopath. Yes. And they hid that in the beginning, right? Sociopaths are very good at, uh, what is it called? Um, mimicking emotions. Because they don't really feel them. No, they don't. So they can pretend to care and pretend to have remorse and pre even pretend to love you, but they really don't understand. They don't understand those things. They don't connect with their emotions, right? They just act like they do. And some of you were dealing with a, so a textbook sociopath who acted, they put on the show like they wanted one thing, but underneath the surface, they did not. The thing is, they don't even know how to connect on that level. Be a family man, be a family woman. They don't even know how to freaking connect with those type of emotions, much less to deal with that kind of responsibility. Mm -hmm. Some of you are with somebody who, um, they were hiding the fact that they have this mentality that they don't want to look after anyone else's kids. Mm -hmm. Some of you, they don't even really want to look after their own. Mm -hmm. But they needed you for something, right? So they wanted you to stay around, Yes. Someone told someone a whole lot of lies to get them to stay around and feel sorry for them. Mm -hmm. Feel sympathy. Empathize with them. Mm -hmm. There was an imbalance in this relationship as well because one person was more emotional than the other. Yes. One person was emotionally unavailable. Mm -hmm. And one person was too emotionally available. Mm -hmm. Someone was too loving, caring, nurturing, while the other person was not. Mm -hmm. And they just took the other person for a ride. Yes, they did. Someone was using someone for money. Yeah. But their gravy train, it fell off the tracks because you cut this. Yes, you did. You stopped that bitch. Yes, you did. I'm seeing um, in my third eye someone pressing the brakes on a train like, no, mm -mm, get off. Get off. Yeah. Some of you Capricorns. <laughs> I feel this energy of you getting real cold with this person. Like you just, all of that love, um, support. I'm even hearing protection. Some of you are very protective of this person. You don't know. You're not that way with them anymore. The thing is, you are that way um, naturally, right? But you've learned uh, who to be that way with and who not to. You did learn very valuable lessons with this person. Some of you in this collective, you ain't never going to let anybody move in with you and your kids again. Uh-uh, not until they put a ring on it. Mm -hmm. 
If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Mm -hmm. Don't be mad when you see that he want it. Yeah. Some of you, you are moving on and you are going to meet somebody else and you are going to get married. And this person's going to be salty as fuck. Mm -hmm. Some of you, this is going to happen in the near future and this person's going to come around like they're sorry. They're going to tell you the truth and they want to start again. They want to exercise equal give and take with you. But it's too late. Mm -hmm. You're not riding that train no more. You upgraded. Mm -hmm. Yes, you've upgraded. Some of you, you're not in no, you're not into trains anymore. You on G four, <laughs> G five flights. Yes. Mm -hmm. Someone in this collective is moving towards a divine connection. Mm -hmm. Very, very divine connection. And you were with a karmic, and this was supposed to teach you to uh, slow your roll. Mm -hmm. You don't need anyone to complete you. You are already complete onto yourself. You don't need anyone to make you whole. You're already whole. Mm -hmm. You don't need to rush. And and some of you, you learn these red flags. You meet someone and they want to move in with you right away. Why? Mm -hmm. You don't even really know me. We went on five dates, right? We went on five dates. You wanted to be a boyfriend and girlfriend. You wanted to hook up. And, and after a month, you want to move in with me. Why? What's up with you? Because that's not, that's red flag season. That's red flag season, Capricorn. And I'm being 100 with you right now. Real talk. Mm-hmm. Some of you, you let someone into your life that you did not know. You did not really know them. And they were hiding who they were the whole time. Mm-hmm. The whole time. They brought a lot of unfairness. This person did not treat you right, Capricorn. No, they didn't. When I say breadcrumbing, and the thing is, this person would expect the most from you and give you the least or give you nothing at all. Someone in this collective kept helping someone out financially, and when they asked for help, this person, dead ass, point blank, would say no. Or give you some story about how they need this, or you need to give them some kind of a calc. If you wanted to borrow money from them, they, they wanted to know every intricate detail about why you need the money, what you're going to do with it. Somebody in this collective was very, very controlling. You were with someone who was very, very controlling. And if they did give you money, they would tell you what you're supposed to do with it, what you can and cannot do with it. Ain't nobody got no motherfucking time for shit. We're all adults here, right? And the joke is, you're the stable one, Capricorn. You're the one who knows how to manage your money. Mm -hmm. This person should have been taking notes from your ass. What a mess. What a mess. But Capricorns, I am very proud of you. And I just love the fact that you just deaded this. Uh huh. When I say someone pumped the brakes on the train, they were like, get the fuck off of my train. Get off. Mm -hmm. I just heard love don't live here anymore. Mm -hmm. For some of you, the things that this person did, they would just turn you off. It was just a straight turn off. And gradually over time, the things that they did just started to erode the feelings that you had for them, right? It's like the switch just went, you know what? I'm not even feeling you anymore. The switch just went off. And it was just because of the shit that they kept doing and the shit that they weren't doing, right? Someone was not showing up. They made it seem like they wanted a family, but really they did not. Their head was not in the game. They were not mentally or emotionally focused on the relationship. This person wasn't even stable enough to have a family, before you talk about you want to be with single mom or single dad, make sure your shit's in order, eh? <laughs> because it's not just you. It's not just the person you're dealing with. It's a, You're taking on a whole package deal here. And you have to be able to maintain. And if you can't, just be honest. And go for somebody who's not a, who doesn't have that kind of situation. That's all. Be honest with yourself. Oh, my. Okay, you know what I'm hearing? I just heard, um, what is it? Hobo sapien. Hobo sapien. Some of you Capricorns allowed a hobo sapien into your home. They were with you because they needed a place to live. Hmm. They didn't have a pot to piss in. Mm hmm. And you had many pots. As a matter of fact, you had a whole motherfucking toilet. You had two bathrooms. Yes, you did. Oh boy. But, Capricorn. This person is coming towards you to let you know that they are sorry mm -hmm. and they were unfair to you. Yes. And they want to work with you now. Mm -hmm. They want to be a team. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what? I feel like this person's intuition may be guiding them to you. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I feel like someone's conscience is eating at them. Like, you did Capricorn wrong. You shouldn't have dealt with Cappy like that. Not Cappy. They didn't deserve that. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, also, you know what I'm feeling, Capricorn? This person's going to come back around, but you're going to use your intuition with that. You know what this person's about. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know what this person's about. The thing is, they want to put the work in now. Mm -hmm. They want to invest in the relationship now. But they still show up as um, Queen of Earth in Reverse. This is still someone who is not a very good... They're not a very good parent. Mm -hmm. They're not a very nice person. This is not someone who is kind. Mm -hmm. This is someone who's a user. This is someone who is selfish. I'm going to pull one more card. They want you to come and invest in them again, right? Invest back into the relationship. And your intuition already done told you what's up with this person. Yeah, already told you. <laughs> like I said, like I said. Yeah, this person's come around, or coming back around. They want to tell you that they want to get back together. They want to do the right thing, but they're full of shit like they were before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And your intuition is telling you. Your intuition is telling you already. You already know or your intuition is going to tell you. When they come back around, do not fucks with this person. Right? Mm -hmm. They want you to invest. You know what it is? They're coming back with the same shit. Right? I feel like this person feels like you're not too bright, Capricorn. Or they feel like they could play off of the fact that you're very, um, you can be very loving. They're, they're trying to play off of your emotions. Yes, they're trying to exploit your emotions. They're hoping that that loving, caring, nurturing side that you had for them, they can um, pull those strings with you again. Mm -hmm. That's what they're hoping. That you'll invest in the relationship with them again. But then they're still not focused on the relationship. For some of you, this person just doesn't have anywhere to stay. Mm-hmm. Everywhere they go, people get tired of them because they're a fucking sociopath. Not a nice person. And people get sick of them and throw them out. Because this person wants to wants you to invest in a relationship that is, there's no real connection. Mm-hmm. There's no intimacy. Mm-hmm. There's no stability. There's no um, security. Yes. For some of you, there's no creativity. This person was boring as shit. It's just a boring relationship. Same shit, different day, and it ain't nothing really going on. Capricorns, just tell the truth. You can't lie. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. I already know, baby. For some of you, this person was fucking boring as shit. Mm-hmm. I bet you I just heard someone I had more entertainment with myself. Mm-hmm. You were better company for yourself. But Capricorn, you're, you're going to pick up on this. Your intuition is going to let you know that, listen, mm -mm, this is not, this person's not the one. Mm -hmm. And you're going to move forward and invest in yourself. Yeah. You're not going to invest in this uh, situation. But they want you to, they want you to invest back in this connection, even though they're not serious. They're still not serious. For some of you, this person is just very immature. Mm -hmm. And you could be dealing with somebody who, I'm hearing midlife crisis. Oh boy. Someone could be in their, someone's in their mid forties. Yes. And they still on this wonderlust bullshit. Yeah. Right. Still not serious. They just want someone to take care of them. They want someone who's stable to take care of them. Capricorn, you're not even doing this. You ain't got time, right? You have the time. You're just not putting it into stuff like this. For those of you that have children in this collective, Spirit said, take heart. You are going to meet the right person for you. They are coming in. Stay focused on yourself and taking care of what you need to take care of for yourself. Mm -hmm. As this is going to attract the right person to you and to move slow. Learn your lessons and move slow. Some of you really needed to learn how to um, take your time and not rush. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing, I'm not hesitating. I just don't want to rush. Mm -hmm. What is that? Um, Beyonce and Usher. Love in the club. Uh-huh. Some of you, when things start opening up, don't go look for no love in no club. You're too grown for that. Don't look for no, you're not going to find it there. You're not going to find it there. Right? You're going to find a high tab because you be buying people drinks. Mm-hmm. Ain't no love in no club, baby. Mm-hmm. Look at this. 
This is from Whispers from Within Oracle deck. This too shall pass. Spirit wants you to have faith that your life or situation will improve, okay? Have compassion towards yourself and others right now. Uh, some of you, you may feel like you're, I feel someone who feel like they feel foolish or they feel stupid or they feel rejected. Spirit said, don't even go there. You learned a lesson. Everybody learns their lessons, right? Have compassion towards yourself. For some of you, Spirit wants you to have compassion towards this person. Nope. Uh, Spirit said, all of you. Because for some of you, there's deeper rooted issues with this person that causes this imbalance. Somebody was um, abused as a child or abused. Uh, they were just in a, a series of abusive relationships and that's why they are the way they are. Mm -hmm. That's why they don't take things seriously because they think if they take things seriously with someone, they'll get hurt. But that's not on you, Capricorn. That's on them. They need to go heal their shit. Mm-hmm. Stop bringing your baggage into new relationships, right? Mm-hmm. So I just feel like for some of you, for all of you, spirit wants you to have some understanding about this person and just keep it moving, right? Spirit wants somebody to talk to someone for support and guidance today. Um, I do have, I do do intuitive counseling. So if you are looking for someone to talk to, I got your back, okay? Uh, the number is in my description box. Check it out. Uh, do something today that makes you feel good, right? Makes your soul feel good. I'm hearing spiritual bath for you. Some of you spirit wants you to take, start taking spiritual baths. Um, those are really easy to do and very, very soothing. I take them all the time. They're really good, very cleansing for your aura, for your energy. Uh, that is just filling the bathtub up. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> filling the bathtub up. Um, putting in some Epsom salt, you can put in some essential oils, you know, lavender is really, really good. It's very calming. Some people like to really dress it up, put in some rose petals to um, really ground themselves to the earth. Set an intention. What do you want this water to do? You want it to cleanse you? You want it to heal you? You want it to help you um, get rid of any stuck, stale, stagnant energy? Set your intention for the water and take a dip, baby. Mm -hmm. And just relax and let spirit do the rest. So for some of you, spiritual baths will be really, really, um, really good for you, very beneficial for you today. But Spirit wants you to do things that makes your soul feel good. So these are things that are on a deeper level for you, not just surface stuff, you know. Yeah, going to buy a drink is good or going out to dinner, that's fine, right? Making yourself, that's good. But just doing things that allow you to feel good within yourself, right? Mm hmm Spirit wants you to find healthy ways to work through uncomfortable emotions during the healing process. A lot of you Capricorns, you are healing, right? And Spirit wants you to find healthy ways to heal. That's why Spirit was saying for you to do things that make your soul feel good because you are healing your soul, right? Someone chain smokes. Mm -hmm. Someone smokes like uh, those little cigars, uh, Captain Black's. Uh huh. Someone smokes a lot of weed. Yes. And Spirit just wants you to cut down, mm -hmm. find a substitute, uh, something healthy. Uh, somebody does comfort eating. Mm -hmm. And Spirit wants you to, um, uh, you can eat all you want, just eat healthy. I'm, I'm seeing someone, um, it's like the chips bag, Spirit. I'm seeing Spirit's hand take the chip bag from you and push a bowl of fruit beside you. <laughs> have some of nature's candy, have some grapes, have some strawberries. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Cappies, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool. Another time. Uh, some, someone in this collective, they're an elemental or fairy, and um, being out in the earth is very, very um, healing for you. Someone needs to start a garden or uh, put more plants in their home. I'm hearing spider plants, those plants that grow and you can kind of like pin them up on the ceiling, pin them around the wall. Those will be good for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, very, very good. I'm... Um, Spirit said they would uh, clear the energy in your home, mm -hmm. lighten up the energy in your home. Crystals, I'm hearing for some of you. Someone is supposed to, Spirit wants someone to get, uh, what is it, rose quartz mm -hmm, and walk around with a, a rose quartz. Make sure you charge it though and set the intention for it. But walk around with a rose quartz close to your heart. For some of you, put it in your bra for females. Mm -hmm. For a male, if you have a pocket on your shirt, you can put it in the pocket of your shirt or just put it in, carry it in your pocket. A rose quartz, this will help you with um, in raising your vibration and loving yourself and loving others, forgiving others and just moving on with your life, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Cappies, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. Until then, I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.